we want to get into topic number one and if y'all haven't you know you look at the date we we fresh off of halloween there's a couple of things that we got to talk about right as you know or if y'all have been watching right the halloween theory right? if your brand is strong enough you are able to have people dress up as you on halloween so we want to go over a couple of cases but you'll be surprised at what you see especially when we get to the second one well it'll be, <laughs> it'll be surprises for different reasons on each so <laughs> so i would just pull out this first one i'm gonna let Corey, you know and kick it off you want to talk about this <laughs> oh yeah man he's uh <laughs> He's a part of the Ice Spice agenda, bro. We back on, we back on Ice Spice. The Ice Spice the agenda. Ice Spice agenda, bro. The, the, oh, on the Ice Spice agenda. Pushing Ice Spice all, all what? Fall twenty two. Have all the last three weeks, a month and a half. how long she been? Around? What did we say last time? She been around like two months. About two months. We yeah. on two and a half months, and now you got Lil Nas X already dressing up as Lil uh, as Ice Spice on Halloween now. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean Ice Spice is super, super connected and she got energy clout? Or is it just, does that just mean her movement is moving so well online that you got people like this picking it up? Yeah, well, I think we, we got to show the second one first and then I got my thoughts. All right, all right. Well, let me see. Well, we're going to bring up this second one. We got Lil Nas X. Oh, by the way, you know, you want to see the... <laughs> 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 you gonna see the comparison there you go right there um and then yeah let me pull up the second one right here so 24k go to himself right Lil Nas X these are two biggest artists that we've seen doing it because I was getting questions asked too about like yo do you think this is an influencer campaign I'm like eh, I don't see too many big influencers do it so I don't think it's that I think it's more so a testament to how much attention to TikTok that 24k go to and Lil Nas X uh, pays attention to because they are two pretty big TikTok advocators. You know, Twenty Four Golden was the, the right. golden boy at some point. No, no pun intended. And then Lil Nas X has been like the new golden boy of TikTok prices like last year or whenever he got super active on it. So I think this is them as regular he, people. You know, Lil Nas X started there too. Like oh he yeah, was one of the true. first TikTok yeah. hits. Yeah, get so, some clout. That both of them are very, very digitally savvy. Like yeah. they, they do pay attention to the internet and they of the internet. So I can see yeah. it actually being some organic shit. Yeah, same, bro. And especially yeah. like. The last episode when we talked about like how hard she's been pushing the meme culture and Twin Forget mm -hmm. Golden does a lot in the meme culture. So it's, it's very, you know what I'm saying? He's like, what, like 20, the point 21. So anybody in that yep. age range, yeah. pretty much paying attention to meme culture. I think Lil Nas X is maybe like 22, 23. Something like that. Yeah, so they're in that age range where it's like, oh, bro, they were probably scrolling these meme pages like the rest of us and like, yep. oh, I know exactly who I'm about to be yep. this year. Fucking Ice Spice. <laughs> and that's an easy costume, bro, a, a, a what color is that? Orange wig, a green yeah. tank top, and some jeans, bro. Like, <laughs> but that's like a twenty dollar costume right there. We'll, we'll, we'll see what other pictures. Uh, uh, munch, the, the munch. Uh, see, and I, I mean, I think this is <laughs> this is legit, legit. Um, yeah, I think for real, a testament just because both of them are so just knowing both of them, everything I've seen from them, they are like watching the internet for real, for real. Yeah. Um, and they are playful like that personality wise. Yeah. Anybody else, I would have definitely thought it was a influencer campaign, but this is the value of it because you legitimately not only show that your brand is that strong, but you basically do have an influencer campaign being ran for you yeah. when people dress up for you for Halloween. Yeah. Like, if they don't know who you are already, then they get the who are you? Bam, education. If they do know who you are already, it just makes you feel omnipresent. You're everywhere. You're a part of the experience of Halloween. Yeah. So, like, there's there's nothing like, man, having your brand so strong. But it doesn't take a lot because look, she, Ice Spice is a relatively new artist, right? Yeah. Like just being real. So, her image though was so strong. People are like, let me cop that. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. all it is. It's not even like she's created the biggest moment of all time or anything you would really necessarily think it would be worthy of. Like, yo, she's Halloween costume worthy. It's just the image has already hit culture that they know you can identify that. That's why I always remember when we first started talking about her, I was talking about that hair. Yeah, the curly hair. Yeah. That hair make a difference, man. Bro, which, which is crazy too, because like her brand look, at least as of now, it's not anything like super complicated, super complex. Because I think about like, like if you wanted to dress up as like Michael Jackson, you yeah. probably gonna do the big hat, the glove, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe the nice white. Like you gotta go over the top with it, bro. Yeah. They have on a six dollar tank top 
an eight dollar pair of jeans and a well, and a burgundy or orange uh curly wig. Yep. Yeah. And we immediately know who it is, even though it's such a simple dress. You exactly. know what I'm saying? I think we tend to think of the costume thing as like very complex dressing. You know, I think of like when we had talked about Yachty and Yachty had like the red hair, right? These very kind of like out there looks. And it's like, nah, bro, something about her image is just apparently so transcendent that yep. you immediately know who it is. Like, man, I can't even look at curly hair and I think of Ice Spice. And I don't know who was the last curly hair representative that was going that hard. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've been completely erased from my mind, at least because of Ice Spice. I don't know. Yeah, because you know that they've been around. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> they know they've been around. People been wearing uh, curly hair. Just that reminds me of, you know, when Drake popularized YOLO, right? Yeah. And, you know, it felt like a new trending thing. I was watching, there's this show called King of Queens or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Not of the culture in that yeah. way at all. <laughs> And that show probably stopped new episodes in like 2005 or something. That was a five I don't show. Know, right? It was a good show. It was a five show. And they said YOLO. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yo, this is crazy. I know that it wasn't like them taking it and putting it because the show is already over. So like a lot of times just taking moments that already exist and then being that new person to introduce it. Yeah. Is so strong a lot, you know. That's Kanye is great at that, but most times artists think they have to create something so new, yeah. right? So look, she's a testament to that. Before we even leave this um this conversation about the Halloween costume, though, I want you guys to see this. I'm gonna go back a little bit, actually. Hello, and welcome to episode four of our series, Kenneth Kirkland where we try to determine the difference between name brand alcohol and Kirkland. All right, they have this entire series. This this band, is, they're called Never Ending Fall. Fall. Shout out to y'all. Kind of a country-ish -ish vibe. Excuse me, like there's more than that, but that's, you know, I'm still pretty service level with them so far. But they already have <laughs> someone who did them as a Halloween costume, mm -hmm. right? That series became popular that I just showed, like them playing with Kirkland. I know they got some some uh probably brand sponsorships from Kirkland. I hope so. By now. At this point, I, I hope so. I hope so, right? <laughs> right. And now, ew, fighting off, y'all can't read this text, fighting off all the men on Halloween with my sexy Kenneth Kirkland costume, right? So they've made an impact. Meme culture again, because this mm. This is meme culture. Yeah, is people, meme culture. That's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. And let me see. I don't know how frequently they do it. They do it pretty frequently, but they have. They only have three hundred and forty-five thousand followers. Yeah, I already got somebody dressing up. I already got somebody now. You know, again, like I said, I'm, I might be a little ignorant. So let me see what their Spotify listenership. Just to give y'all context on real time, because I don't even know what it is, honestly. Ending. Come on, there we go. Uh, yeah. 33,000 monthly listeners. Yeah, that's crazy. 300,000 TikTok followers. And you got people dressing up as you on on Halloween, not just because you have so many fans and everybody knows you, but they have that distinct series that stood out. That's all you have to do. Do something distinct and you just have to make that thing click and bam, yeah. there it is. Yeah, and I think it's cool too because when we think of the whole like Halloween costume thing, you automatically go to like bigger artists. But I mean, they're probably the smallest artists that I've seen that's having fans do that. But I saw some like underground rappers like Ken Carson. Um, there's this dude named like Destroy Lonely. Mm. Like Yeet has some fans, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, dressing up as him for Halloween. So it's really one of those things where like, hey, like if you, of course, have an image that's big enough that it appeals to pop culture, yeah, of course, that's where you're going to get the biggest pop. But even in these micro communities, because I guarantee you she walked down the street yeah. and 90% of people probably didn't know who she didn't was even know. but the 10% that did know probably lost it but like oh shit you you the people inside Janet joke. Kirkland right yeah exactly yep. it becomes like this inside joke it's almost like an inside flex too exactly. inside of the community exactly. you know what I'm saying it's like because, I like them why didn't you why didn't you dress up because as like they wouldn't have, they're surprised that you even thought about it almost yeah. like that's so creative because yeah. I'm thinking about all these basic costumes and basic yeah. people now you're this option so yeah I get that point yeah I get that point yeah. again that's inspiration. If you do something creative and you make a mark, you don't even have to have a big fan base. Like I honestly did not know they only had thirty three, you know, thousand. Yeah, I don't think they're serious. Like, listeners. popping for them for too long. Maybe like a two, three months or so. I remember um, Liam first brought it to me maybe like two months ago. 
Shout out to Liam for, for yeah, throwing this on man. the pod, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so transition. I got to play this clip, bro. I, you, you sent it sent it over. Before we get into rollouts, I should have said, yo, we're going to get pretty heavy into rollouts today. Appreciate you watching. Fun fact, every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you want to be a gem seeker, collect all the gems, keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.